What's up my creeper gang? Creeper here back again with another book review and today we're going to be reviewing Batman 3 Jokers written by Jeff Johns, art by Jason Fabok, and coloring by Brad Anderson. Now before we get into this book you guys I want to just simply say if you guys didn't check my last video I did uh, thanking Comic Time 101. Please go check that out. The link will, for that video will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. This is the story of three different Jokers. Okay? Now, these three different Jokers are all tied with, you know, the, the three main heroes. Uh, each Joker, you know, tortured, you know, Batman, Jason Todd, and Barbara. You know, we we have uh, we have the clown, we have the comedian, and then we have like the, the mob boss, you know, version of the Joker. And basically, how the story is is that the Batman has to find out which one is the one true Joker, who's the one running, you know, the other two, which one's the real one, and. You know, basically, like, these three Jokers all tie in with the story of, like, the Killing Joke Joker, uh, Death in the Family Joker. Um, the third one I'm, I'm not too familiar with, but all three of these Jokers tie in with the story. And it's really, it, the way that they did this, it's really like a smart way of going for a Joker story. They literally tied in all three joke, main Joker stories and wove it into one. And it's like, now it has you questioning which one is the real main Joker. Who's the true main Joker? And I'm going to just open this up, you guys, and we're going to just get into this. I'm just going to get into this real quick. And I'm going to just give you like a brief summary, a uh, brief summary of what I mean. You know, right here. Here we have, you know, Batman, you know, crashing into his parents' tombstone. And then he gets out the Batmobile. He's badly injured. And as you can see right here, him entering the Batcave. And then him having to, you know, Alfred, Alfred basically assisting him, taking off his uh, bat suit and helping him with his wounds. And then basically you can see, you know, Batman all, you know, scarred up, beat up. And basically in, in this in this chapter, basically Alfred's like, oh, what is it now, Master Bruce? Like, what, what uh, caused your new... Like, what caused your new uh, bruise? Basically, his new bruise was caused by the penguin. And it basically shows, like, other bruises. Like, how did, how did like, uh, Bruce Wayne get all the other bruises? See, like, you see the breaking of the back by Bane. You see the, the question mark burnt by the Riddler. You see the scratch marks by Catwoman. Basically, just a brief history of what the Batman has really been through. See here. The biting of Killer Croc. The stabbing of Scarecrow with his pitchfork. The shootings of the Joker. The acid sting of the Joker. You know, just and then more <laughs> pain by the Joker. And as I keep, you know, as you keep going along and reading this page, you you see that the Joker causes more damage than any of the, uh, than any of the other villains that Batman's ever faced. See, all all basically ninety percent of Batman's damages is with the Joker. Basically, just giving you a brief history of what the Batman has truly been through, physically. And as you see right there, Alfred, you know, healing up his wounds. And then Batman just reminiscing of, like, what he's been through. 
and then we get a we get a brief you know glimpse as as you as we all know in all Batman stories they always do this they always go back to like how you know Batman became Batman why he was the way that he was you know you know parents walk out of the movie theater you know they're having a good time then they get shoot by some mugger you know then it kind of traumatizes young Bruce Wayne and then you know basically that's how he becomes the Batman and we already know this story you guys we've seen uh Bruce's uh origin story been told a thousand different ways the same way you know it, it, at that point it just kind of gets repetitive i wish they would stop doing this i wish they would stop like showing us like okay how batman became batman we know how batman became batman i mean i know i get it you're trying to like show new fans of how batman you know how he was the way he was but we already know. Trust me. We know. We don't need to be to be told the same story. But that's just one of that's just one of my gripes about this. You know, every time I read a Batman story, and they always go back to how you know Bruce Wayne becomes Batman. We already know. And then here you guys, you know, like I said, you know him having flashbacks of what he went through as a child, him going through that pain. And then, fast forward, and then boom, we go to Barbara Gordon. And like I said, you guys, this ties in with, you know, the killing joke, uh, the killing joke story, the definite family. Um, mind you guys, one of the two main Joker stories that's very popular, and it ties in with this book. And it and it basically shows all three Jokers. How they tortured, you know, how each Joker tortured, like, you know, Barbara, Jason Todd, Batman. And uh, it's funny because in this book, you know, Barbara and Jason literally have to, like, face their own demons. They literally have to, like, face their demons and they're, they're kind of, like, in a conflict, you know, because... They've been trained by Batman for for so many years about, you know, mental training, about how, you know, not to kill your villain. Don't ever, you know, go in the deep end. Don't ever go down that dark path. And they're, and with this story, it's like they're facing, they're literally facing their demons and they're being tested. And, uh, you know, some of them, you know, like Barbara, you know, pass and like Jason Todd, they don't necessarily pass that test. Because as we know, Jason Todd has been through way more than Barbara, Barbara has. Trust me, he's been through a lot. If you read The Definite Family, you guys will know. And as you see, you see flashbacks of like what basically The Definite Family Joker did to her. You know, it's because of this Joker that basically she couldn't she she couldn't walk anymore. Well, she was paralyzed for a little bit, and you know when he, just the sick stuff that he did to Barbara, you know, shot her up, made her paralyzed, um, took off her clothes and get, took pictures of her. This Joker did some some sick shit. If you read the comic. The killing, uh, the killing joke, and if you've seen the movie, trust me, it's it's some, it's some pretty dark stuff in that comic book. I really suggest go reading that, you guys. It's some pretty like dark shit, but yeah, basically like a summary of what happened to Barbara with the killing joke version of the Joker. And then we get to Jason Todd, a.k.a. Red Hood. And what happens to Jason Todd is with his part in the story, you know, in Death of the Family Joker, you know, Jason Todd as a kid, as Robin, he gets brutally abused by the Joker with a crowbar. And he just get, get getting hit and battered and you guys, you guys gotta go check out that comic book too. It's both those stories, the Killing Joke and Death in the Family, are like one of the brutalest 
Batman slash Joker stories I've ever read. And what happened to, you know, Jason Todd and Brock on Barber is just, wow. They really went through a lot of shit. So, you some more...